Welcome to another desk yoga video. So today, um, a stretch of a desk and then we're going to be standing up to do a stretch using the chair. Okay, so firstly, uncross the legs. <laughs> Again, happens naturally, doesn't it? So let's take a breath in and reach the arms up. Lengthening the spine. And then drop the arms beside you. And if you can, grab opposite elbows behind, behind the spine, or your back. Um, if you can't reach the elbows, then maybe you can just grab the wrists. Um, whatever feels good on the shoulders, you want to draw the shoulders back and down the spine. So if you can, grab opposite elbows and shift the chair back a bit. And broaden the collarbones. And just take a few breaths here. Just really noticing the breath. Maybe it changes. Or maybe you weren't really paying attention to the breath before while you're working so hard and focusing on a task or meeting. So just breathe right now, taking this few minutes just to adjust the posture and to release any tension in the neck and shoulders. So release the arms there. Ooh, it is a bit of a stretch as well. So now I'm going to stand up and use the back of the chair. Um, ideally a chair that's about hip width, but mine's just a little bit lower, but I'm going to use it anyway to show you, or you can use the wall. So the way to do this one is Stepping back to bring the feet hip width apart, stepping back to push the chair forward. Stepping back and then see if you can fold forward. So hinging at the hips and try and keep the spine neutral. So rather than the rounding down, see if you could find that length in the spine and then fold forwards. So palms come here, so fold forward. So keep stepping back if you need to. So if you're against the wall, so keep stepping back and find that tabletop back. Find the neutral spine, so it might not be the spine might not be parallel with the floor, and that's okay. So there's something to stretch. If you feel stretch in the front of the chest, I'm going to stretch in the shoulders, maybe in the triceps, wherever you're tightest, but definitely in the hamstrings here. If it's too tight in the hamstrings, just bend the knees a little bit, and then maybe start to straighten there. When you find a comfortable position, a comfortable shape in the body, and then just take. Three full breaths here. All right. Great. Hopefully that feels good and starts to walk. Come up slowly. You know, be mindful of the blood pressure and all that. The next one, you need to use the chair. We come into a tree pose. We call it Rixana. Um, the sole of one foot either beside the ankle or sort of on the side of the shin, the calf, or above the knee. Um, <laughs> maybe some of you might be wearing skirts and things, or trousers that are not very uh, loose or uh, stretchy. You can just have it there. So this is a hip, hip opening. You can use the chair if you need it um, for balance. We're holding here, and the arms can be wherever. So it can be in cactus arms to open the chest. It could be in prayer, it could be on the hips. And then the, the, the knee here, so I've got, I'm standing on my left leg and my right knee is sort of pointing two o'clock. I'm facing 12 o'clock. <laughs> so a few breaths here. Nice. And then release, and then we'll change side. And I'll face this way just to show you. So in finding, using something for balance if you need it. In, and to find that neutral spine, so again on the ankle, on the calf, or above the knee, I'll keep it here. And maybe like one side's a little bit different. So again, I'm facing 12 o'clock, so my left knee is like 10 o'clock, <laughs> maybe 11 if you're not that open in the hips, a bit mobile. And it depends on how the bone, the bones are as well. And a few breaths there. Okay. Then next one, so release there, 
shake out if you need to. The next one we do is you can come up with the tiptoes just to stretch the soles of the feet. So great for people who have plantar fasciitis. And then coming down and lifting the toes off the floor. Coming back to the toes, balls of the feet, lifting the heels off the floor. And getting this stretch there and bending the knees. That, that felt, helps, feels good. And then coming down to the heel, lifting up to the heel, lifting the balls of the feet off the floor. Maybe playing around with the toes as well. You'll notice the fingers probably move. And then coming down. Next one, coming back up to the top, to the balls of the feet, coming to tiptoes. I'm going to try and bend the knees. So bending the knees, dropping the hips towards the heels. Maybe the chair's a little bit too close to me here. <laughs> I come staying here and really getting a nice stretch there, so even more of a stretch on the soles of the feet. And then coming up again, using the chair if you need to, or not. Maybe a few times. The blood to go upwards. <laughs> and if you have some time or some more energy, then go ahead and do that a couple more times. Great. Thank you for listening. I'll see you in the next video.